This is Chris Harold with Everyday VBA. In this video, we're going to be going over the VBA offset. Now, what is an offset? That is basically to move a cell or to change with a cell based on the row or column. And that can go positive or negative. There's a couple ways to do that. Um, the best way to do that is really using the offset function. And so I'm going to just show you how to do that. We've got a Visual Basic Editor open. If you don't have that open, you can hit Alt F11 and that will get you there. All right, we need to open up a module. So let's click on this bad boy. Got a module open, and we're gonna go sub, and this is gonna be off. All right, so the easiest way to show you how to do this is just to select, to do use the selection. And so we're gonna go uh, range, we're actually gonna use uh, a range. Uh, let's do A10, let's do B10, B10. Got to do the syntax right. And then we're going to do offset. Now, um, the way the offset works is you're going to offset it by a number of rows. Either positive moves down uh, as far as rows. Negative moves up. Now, you can run into errors because there's no such thing as a negative two row. And the same thing for columns. So we're just going to offset this by uh, one row and one column. And then we're going to hit select. So... If we were to get rid of this offset, it would just select B10, which is the cell that I'm in now. But it's going to offset it by one row. So it's going to come down here, down one, and then it's going to go right there. So let's do this. Let's do it. And that's exactly what it does. Now the same is true for cells, right? So you can go cells. And we're actually in cells 10, comma 2, which is um, the 10th row, second column. And we're going to do offset. We're going to offset this time by two, and then one, and then we're going to select, and we're going to go through here, and then you notice that it, it, it does that offset. Now, the other ways that you can do this is you can actually use variables inside your cells, and so you can, you can move those cells as needed, you can grab those cells as needed, um, but that's how the offset function works. It also works for ranges, so uh, just real quick, I'm going to take this section right here, and we are going to make that, instead of just B10, we're going to go B10, and we're going to go to C15. I'm going to get rid of this just so that I can show you how this works uh, so that we can select it, uh, and then we'll offset it. So again, I'm going to go through here, B10, it's going to say, hey, B10, i got to offset this. I'm going to offset it by one. I'm going to offset my cells. I'm going to select that range, and then I'm going to offset it by one, which just moves it down and over. So that's that's really briefly what the offset function is and how it works. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure that you're subscribing to the Everyday VBA channel. Make sure you're also liking my videos if you like them, and leave comments. I do respond. Hope you enjoyed.